Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to one part 120 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. So we made some kind of freezing shot thing. Let's see how it works. So once again we come to the shore of the Pale Lake. Alright, let's give this a shot. So, a better translation for this would be freezing mist device, perhaps. But with it, we should be able to cross over this ice lake, living creature like ice lake. Alright, everybody, get behind me. Alright, everybody, line up. So, they, f they get in single file to hide their numbers. So we point our freezing mist device out over there and set it on. Well, well. So this mist that's vigorously pumped out by the thing hits onto the lake and causes the freezing effect. And a layer of ice builds up. Alright, here we go. So the ice keeps building up, layer upon layer. And the higher it gets, the further from the water surface, the weaker the ice becomes. And after some amount of power has gone through, the ice finally stops growing higher. In other words, the ice itself can't freeze anything higher than this altitude. So it's kind of a fighting fire with fire thing. And this is how we can cross the lake with this uh, ice bridge. Awesome, I guess. So as we were preparing to cross, all of a sudden, Ruri Nyuki pops up. What is it? So he warned us before, but here there is the power of a god at work. It's extremely powerful, and if you let your guard down, you're inviting defeat. Ah, yeah, we get it. So, he deliberately came out and gave us another warning, huh? Maybe he is a little bit worried about us. Alright, let's go. Okay. This was just an exploration, and they throw us into a map. Hmm. Okay, so let's take a look. This string of squares is our ice bridge, where there aren't any of these nifty traps. And it's a freezing earth, blah blah blah. If you take land on it, you take damage. It's only 9,999 damage. Oh yes, and the enemies. We got a few spirits floating over the waters. Also level 45, 4 stars, which is awesome. Again, their attacks are non-elemental. They're still weak against Earth, though. Importantly, they don't have any ranged attacks, like the old other one did. Although they do have an area of effect attack. So, if you have two enemy, two of your allies in within two spaces of this guy, 
she might activate this one and well I think Rurin would survive Kaurin would survive pretty much anyone else is dead meat after a shot or two hmm I feel like there's something I need to tell you and I'm forgetting it but it can wait then I like using my teleporting characters to explore. Well, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Now, since these guys don't have any ranged attacks, if you lay out your character... Shut up, bitch! Anyway, if you lay out your characters right, they will just keep attacking Karin over and over with their melee attack. Which is pretty damaging, sure, but he can withstand it. Let's see. I want that square under control. Actually, no. This is the square I want Ronin to stay in. And make sure she has her attack that has four range instead of three. It's a little weaker. But we can't get too close to it. Usually it will attack the closest character, which will be Karin all the time, but if some of the one else is in within three spaces, they may attack that one. And frankly, nobody else can take a hit from these guys. Actually, Detom also has an earth attack that has a range of four, so we can make use of him as well. Yes, this will do. No. We still don't have a gold key yet, so that'll have to wait. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh, those look impressive, don't they? They sound a bit too cute, though. All right. Fia's job actually is to heal Karin if he if he gets too low on HP. Next up would be Ronin. She has a ton of magic attack and these guys don't have all too much magic defense, so she'll be able to do a decent amount. Hey, free shot. And earth attack. We Can I You can I Oh oops, that was a capture attack. Although ultimately we will want to capture these girls. Ouch. I keep forgetting how much luck he has. Alright. Damn. Okay, let me undo that. That was a power attack, not a capture attack, so we'll have to do it again. Without the animations. He'll be fine like that. In fact, all the better to capture the enemy with. Okay, great. Now let's let Dethelm do the honors. They don't give as much experience as the last one. 
But anyway, there's a capture. Four star enemies are pretty hard to get our hands on, so this is valuable. Hmm. Now, before I forget, one of the objectives is to get hurt by the freezing grounds. And I've got just the character to do it with. Well, Ruru, you're such a nice guy. Thank you very much. Now. This will work. Yo, you is just around to... Oh, you're still here, Rurin? Uh, make sure to get this one, too. We don't know which one it's referring to when it says to step on the frozen ground, so we better make sure you hit all of them. Alright, perfect. Now, as you can see, that was 36 damage. So, I feel we'll basically be able to keep up with the damage this thing deals. Unless I decide to attack it on purpose, which I will, but... Hell, I've got healing potions. And Kaurin has so much luck that we don't need to worry about him getting hit by a crit. And it looks like this has been pretty short, but we get another capture. Oh great, I level up. Mm, defense and speed. This is different. An ice pillar, it's ice pillar. I don't even know what that is. Let's take a look. Um, where do I do it? There. What could it possibly be? Okay, n not a fist type weapon. Not a sail weapon. Hmm. Nope. It sounds like something that would be in the materials. But where? There's so many pages of this. Yeah, that's all of them. Hmm. Honestly, I'm at a loss for what that was. I'll have to look it up some other time. So, um... Oh, Rurin, you're still here. Suffer! I mean, uh, explore for me. Everybody line up. Funny how that's actually how it turns out. No, oh, good job.
どんどん行こう All right, so we're getting into this ice mountain, and once we get inside, it, it seems there's some kind of ruins inside in there. How strange. It seems like ruins, but it also seems like it's been used recently. All right, observation. These walls, rather than appearing to be ice, seem to be some kind of crystal. They're not particularly cold. Yeah, even Yo could handle this stuff. Hmm, true. The temperature isn't as cold as the lake was. So, since we're here, let's do some exploration. Great. Hmm, how shall we do this? Yeah, we're going to have to call cutting up. And then wait for next... Hey, why don't we do some healing? As long as we're here. Alright, first things first. Cutting goes here in order to help with survival rates. Now this room is really convenient because we can put our ranged characters in these three spots and that enemy won't be able to reach them. Whoops. I keep forgetting Fia actually has five movement points. So bingo, we're ready for a fight. is too powerful to do it, so we'll have to go with Detail, and if he doesn't kill it... Oh, he gets a double move. That's perfect. There we go. And that's three captures. And now we can freely have Rue and explore these frozen Earth things. We've had the mining skill taken off of Kaurin for a while, but we're going to need that. Because in this particular map, there's no gathering but a bunch of mining to do. We already found one uh, down in the southwest here, but there's more. Rudin, are you perhaps wondering what you did to deserve, you know, this fate? This eternal suffering I'm visiting upon you? That's a good question, and you should ask yourself that. So, interestingly, this is a city of ice down here. Ah, but the architecture doesn't seem to be from around here. Well, if Deedhelm's memory serves him correctly... This 
This style comes from a country in the west part of the con continent and from over 200 years ago. And details of the same opinion. Taking a look at it from the style of the buildings and the manufacture that goes on, he would say it's a mining town. Hmm, as expected. But what's it doing here? Yeah, anyway. That's part of our investigation, isn't it? <laughs> Boy, I really get hope I get the reward. I would hate for Ruin to suffer this much and us not get what whatever it was we were trying to get. All right, here's Avaro. Avaro, get moving. And here's Mikeu. Mikeu, what are you even doing here? Well, yeah, if you can't tell what I'm doing, it's actually pretty obvious. Oh, surprise! It's another mimic. Oh, you're cute too. Let me take you home. Man, the mimics in this game. Now, you do need to be careful with Mikeu, however. Because this Mimic has the reflect ability and Mikeu does a lot of damage, she could easily end up killing herself by attacking. Well. It's pretty obvious. I think she would hurt... It would take four or five hits. Reflections to do it. Hmm, Darkness Beast Fossils. Ah, uh, this must be the last mining point. Okay, I know the Earth Bow isn't going to do any good. And in fact, the Physical Bow isn't much better. This girl is immune to, like, everything. Except for Physical. Well, it's only somewhat resistant to Lightning and Holy. Navarro actually has a weapon that can deal enough damage to it. As you can see, he'll be doing negative three damage. But it attaches a deconstruction ability to him, adding ten to his damage. And of course, it's most important to kill it with Mikeu. So we get a magic defense. No, that's not right. Keep going, Rurid. I'm enjoying this. So... Well, like I said, we're going to do it with Mikeu because we probably only get one chance to kill this Mimic. So we want to get double drops and a capture out of it. You know what, I for should forget about Cotton. He doesn't move quickly enough to be of any use at this point. Mikeu! Okay. 
So a gold box of uh, valuables. But more importantly, a capture. So that covers us for here. And honestly, really, you're a water spirit. Why are you so weak against ice? I mean, in this game, it's basically the same element. Hmm? Oh, look at that. I've used all of you's um, movement points. So all we need to do is get to that event and we're done here. Unless you want to watch Rurin suffer some more. But I think I'm enjoying that more than you are. Alright, it seems like the path continues in through here. So let's explore some more. Later. So, you know, while we have the opportunity. Ha ha ha. Okay, we're done now. We couldn't open that door and get to the treasure behind it. Interesting. I think there's like four or five things you could be getting, and instead we just get blue magic ore and unmelting ice chunks. Yeah, if I need any of that. Hey, wait up. Avaro. Take a look at this separation line. Hmm, interesting. The ice mountain and the city's portions seem to be a completely different earth. This could mean... Hey, this means you don't think it could. Yeah, this is worse than I thought. Ha, you're so excited, you're smiling. Yeah, Fia sound, found something interesting, I guess. So, come quick, Avaro. Oh, well. Following her panicked voice, we find this. So, the important thing is this big gate. And we'll get some description of that. So there are a lot of people apparently attempting to keep this gate shut. And they're all frozen solid. Oh man, what do we do? Are these people still alive? I don't know. But just to be safe, don't touch anything here. And so taking care not to touch anything. We confirm what's going on here. So there are golems and knights, magicians, and even angels here participating. Everybody trying to push this door shut. Desperately. Now, was it some kind of cold effect from the other side of the door that froze them? Or perhaps in order to keep it shut, they themselves chose to enact this kind of cold magic. We can't tell. Risha and Sally recognizes their outfits. As expected, it's from the western part of the continent several hundred years ago. Yep, no doubt about it. Yeah, it's still pretty unbelievable, but something really big happened here. So, what was it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Don't you three just keep talking like you understand everything. Explain it to the rest of us. So, 
speculating based on what we found in our investigation so far. This whole town came from the western part of the con continent. But what's it doing here? <laughs> well, we don't know why it's here. But realistically speaking, this this whole city came here, flying here, somehow, several hundred years ago. And just like that, it was frozen solid too. So, is that so? To think such a thing is possible, that's scary. Yeah, that is pretty oppressive to think about. And in truth, it is, you know, a scary thought. Hmm, so how do we open this up? Wait, what? Are you kidding me, Avaro? These people are all frozen solid trying to keep this thing shut and the first thing you want to do is open the gate. Give this guy an award. He does like he is too dumb to live. But the thing is just perfectly closed and it won't budge. Everybody pushes on it. They even try using magic and it doesn't give even a sign of opening. <laughs> Deedham was thinking that it might have been frozen shut as well, but it looks like that isn't all. Deedham can't himself say what it is, though. Navarro feels some powerful magic force from the other side. So, like Rurin told us, there's some kind of God's power at work here. So there are a lot of mysteries remaining. So probably in order to open this gate, we'll need a special powerful key and a pretty large power. It doesn't say what kind of power, but a large power. He also observes that the ice monsters around here aren't from, well, around here. So they will float about, but perhaps they were from the western part of the continent as well. Alright, plain old explanation. Beyond this door is the bonus area for particular LA expert players. So if you have a certain important item, you can get in. Hmm. Could it be the gold key? If that's the case, then I'm going to want to... Ramia Sishi. I need Ramia Sishi. Ah, uh, Ramia Stone. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm so used to calling it that. And naturally, Dehelm doesn't sell it. So this most advanced... Whoops, most advanced map up in the north will give Ramia Sishi, Ramia Stone occasionally. I didn't get any last time I was here because it was being a bitch, but if I keep going there, I'll eventually get it and I can make the gold key and maybe that will open up the bonus area. But of course, if you've played any of Eoshuli's games before, you know the bonus area is not just kind of, hey, bonus, it's like everything is going to murder your face off. So I may or may not do it, even if I become able to. Probably at the very least you want characters to be around level 60 or 70. In any case, that's something we can look at another time when, I'm, when it's possible for me to do it. For now, we're still waiting for that Holy Accords to start up, so we're gonna waste time on free maps for a while. And with that, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.